Hello, my name is DHG Studios and welcome back to my channel. Today we have some more Time Lord Victorious news, and that is that we've had the cover revealed uh, for four more outings in this series, um, as well as a whole bunch of sort of synopsis stuff for those episodes as well. The first thing that you'll notice about this uh, three is that they all feature Paul McGann, so this is like his side of the story, which does make me wonder how they're going to put... Um, Christopher Eccleston in there because I imagine he's probably not doing any big finish so it does make sense that Paul McGann does the big finish compared to that's how I think we've all kind of perceived his doctor because he's you know re only had one real life outing so it's a, for Christopher Eccleston it's interesting to find out what they're going to do with him I imagine it'll probably be something like comic books but we'll have to find out pricing wise for these sets um you're looking at the standard sort of download price for a monthly adventure or something like that. It's like nine pound, eight pound, nine pound uh, for a download and ten ninety nine for a CD. Um, if you pre-order the CDs um, as t as part of a bundle of the three stories, um, the, the the trilogy of Paul McGann, um, then it's twenty five pound or twenty two pound if you get it on download. It says here that I don't know how they came up with this number, um, but if you want the short trips included, it is five ninety nine uh, by itself. I think that's for both of them. Yeah, it is. Um, and part of the Time Lord Victorious bundle the tr with the trilogy for £26. So you're just paying one extra pound. That doesn't make much sense to me. It's a really good deal. So um, I suggest you go for that. Okay, so let's go down uh, section by section, talk about each sort of episode. So the first episode is... The Doctor is searching for the seven won 700 wonders of the universe. The Doctor is quickly embroiled in a web of deceit. Worse than that, the wonders of the universe are missing, which leads the Doctor to encounter one of his most dangerous adversaries. Um, there was an extra word in there, but I couldn't really pronounce it quickly, so I decided not to include it. The Doctor is about to meet Brian, it says at the end. Okay, sounds interesting. I like the whole wonders of the universe. The scale of it is quite big, which I enjoy. Sorry, I should have said this right at the start, but uh, He Kills Me, He Kills Me Not by Carrie Thompson was episode one. And episode two is The Enemy of My Enemy by Tracy Ann Baines. This one I think really sounds interesting. So the people of uh, Rax are happy to begin peaceful negotiations with the Daleks. The only person that's not happy about that is the Doctor, who says that you can never ever trust the Daleks. But more than that, he knows that the Waxians should never ha have existed. Another really interesting plot idea, um, I love how sort of creative these are, it's not like, ah, oh, Daleks, bad, it's this sort of an interesting take on it, which I really enjoy. Episode 3 is called Mutually Assured Destruction by Lizzie Hopley. Uh, the fallout of a great battle, it reads at the top. Uh, Outnumbered and alone on a Dalek ship through the vortex, the Doctor must use all his cunning to survive. As the saucer disintegrates around them, the Doctor is trapped with the crew of increasingly desperate Daleks. Or are the Daleks trapped with him? I've abbreviated some of those um, descriptions just to make it easier for me to say. But all of which, all of these trilogies sounds very interesting and I like how... Even though they're supposed to be linked, I don't know how they're going to be linked, but they sound like interesting stories by themselves that you normally wouldn't get from Doctor Who. Um, you know, not from the main show anyway, which I, which I think will make a really good um, audio. Okay, so uh, the short trips for The Master include an episode called Master Thief by Sophie Isles. I think I pronounced that correctly. The Master wants to plunder one of the most secure vaults in the universe, the Redepository. The Redepository. He's got a deadly new weapon, and he's got a plan. However, the Master quickly discovers that getting in might be easy, but getting away with it may cost him everything. That sounds like a very interesting sort of, like, time heist episode. Uh, and the final part is Lesser Evils by Simon Greer. Uh, and then the final part sees that a species called the Grotera, no clue how to pronounce that, from the planet Alexis to distribute the gift of death to its inhabitants. Great way of putting that. The only person standing in the way is the renegade Time Lord who has sworn to protect, protect the locals. The Time Lord called the Master. 
This sounds like a really interesting story. It reminds me a lot of Time of the Doctor when we see Dave, uh, Matt Smith, um, you know, grow old and protect these locals from whatever comes um, their way from invasion. Um, I imagine it's kind of like a longer version of that. Uh, but that sounds very interesting as well. I love how all of these episodes do sound very interesting, and I think that even if you just get one, I think that you're not you're not going to be disappointed. They all sound great. Um, there's not one episode down there that I think will be kind of like a dud. Um, but obviously, we haven't heard them all. So we have six parts of this sort of uh, saga. Uh, I, don't, I think there's like twelve. Um, and I think that the master thing is that if that's being included because they're short trips um and throughout the article they call the Paul McGann thing the trilogy and then this feels like the like the addition the master stuff whether that is actually the case or whether the the master thing is still included will be interesting to find out but i think that as this comes more and more closer i think that more and more people are going to get interested in it i'm definitely going to pre-order these things not right now but i'm going to pre-order them um at some point and i'm looking forward to listening to them in like october time they sound excellent what what else can i say the covers look great I, i'm looking forward to getting it um but that's all for today thank you very much for watching hopefully you did enjoy this video if you did make sure you give it a like subscribe if you're new and i shall see you soon goodbye <laughs>